Are you looking for a planner that's just for science teachers? Here's a butterfly themed one that starts off with an opening page. And I love having a to-do checklist right from the beginning so that I can go there first thing in the morning and check off what I need to do. And then we move on to my pacing guides. This happens to be my seventh grade cells and classification unit. And I can see what I'm going to cover each week and I can see it at a glance. And then, of course, we have all the calendars that you need for the year. And as you go through the months, continuing with my hand-drawn butterfly art. Now, this is my lab planner that is great for going through all the things you need to do for a lab and how you're going to prepare for it, how you're going to grade it. And I find this really useful if it's a lab that I haven't done before or even just ones that I've done before and it's able to save for the following year. These are the lesson plan pages, and I happen to have six classes a day, so I need all of these slots, and plus there's places for notes, because we all have those. You may notice that I did not print these back to back. I like having that blank page in between so that I can jot some notes if I need to. I usually keep about a month of lessons in here, and then I take them out and save them so that it doesn't make the binder too heavy. Here's your student lists. Even though I have them digitally, I like to have them on paper. This is their emails. Here's some parent contacts. And here's some parent comfort notes. It's nice to have with you all the time so you can remember any action plans that you made with specific parents. Birthdays is always not fun to have. And then there's a bulletin board organization that I had to, I was always forgetting what posters I had for which unit. And I like to have them around the room and I actually teach from them. Here's a very important part of a classroom inventory for science teachers. I have all my cabinets and closets laid out so I know what's in each drawer. And this is my classroom library where I like to have the books ready to go to display during a unit and also knowing which ones I can refer to the students to. Here's YouTube videos that you may have digitally, but it's also nice to have written down. Now, this is a reflection tracking journal that I've used constantly for years and I tweak it all the time. Since I have so many classes a day, I like to write down just one sentence or two what I actually covered for that class or that section. We're so busy, it is great to remember what you did from week to week and to pull them together at the end of the year when you're doing your pacing guides. These are the different covers that I created that you can put in the front of the binder. These are all hand-drawn by me, as I mentioned. I'd like to change these out per, sem per semester, just so it feels like a, a new start. I do have matching decor in my TPT store, which is Science by Sinai, with different labels, bathroom and hall passes, classroom job cards, growth mindset posters, and writing paper that all match this same theme. I have a succulent and cactus theme and a coral, ocean, and birds. Science by Sinai. Thank you.